Girly Whirlies, hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I live and adore you. I see you in my last 2,000 comments. You mean the world. Today we are doing a full Sephora haul. I spent all my money in Sephora and it was... I had the time of my life. I was in New York. You might have seen the New York vlog with Benefit. It was so much fun and I picked up loads of bits. And we're doing a full first impressions talk through using it, what I think as applying. And I'm obsessed with everything. Pretty much everything got a good rating, but we'll talk in depth why and what products. So for my Irish girlies, we obviously don't have Sephora. So this is my recommendations for you if you're going on a trip for Sephora or to somewhere with Sephora. I would go on a trip for Sephora, but if you're going on a trip and there's a Sephora there, these are some recommendations. Or if you are lucky enough to have Sephora, these are my Sephora recommendations. And I'm just obsessed with everything. I'll link things below. I'll leave all the product lists below. I'm just obsessed. I, I actually can't even pick a favorite, but you're gonna see, like, are we seeing? I'm just, I'm very happy about it. So I really hope you enjoy. I love you so much and let's get into it. Love you. Okay, girlies, let's just get straight into it. Let's do skin, let's take these off. I'm excited. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, so ignore. It's the thumbs for me. So obviously I'm gonna do a full face, but I didn't buy a full face new products in Sephora because that would have cost, honestly, like in the thousands, I'd say. Wouldn't put it past me, but I wasn't going to do that, so... And most things I'll use are hopefully in Sephora anyway. But Ireland, you know this, we don't have Sephora, so I'll try my best. But anyway, this one, this video is very much for the Irish girlies. If you're going away and you find a Sephora, these are my recommendations. For anyone that does have a Sephora, look at you, and these are my recommendations. So let's do skin. Let's mix our Drunk Elephant with the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Peptide Cream and the Drunk Elephant deep bronzy drops. I did go to dinner with Drunk Elephant and I came home with such nice goodies. So love ya, love you for that. So this isn't a part of the Sephora haul, but you can get these in Sephora. So I used to use this, haven't used it in a while. A lot of people, this is kind of blowing up on TikTok at the minute for people making like a little cocktail in here. So let's do a pump with you and let's add our little, you can add more, but I'm just gonna do moisturizer and the drops. My drunk elephant drops, that was satisfying. Let's do a little bit more. I've done my skincare. Skincare is going to be a different video. I've been going through it with my skin. I've talked before about pale, coil, etc. So a skincare video is coming. Let's do... No, I want to keep this really clean. It kind of... I don't like the thought of the bronzy... Okay, keep it clean. And let's just... Oh, beautiful. I actually could have used a bit more bronzy. I have... Oh my God, this moisturizer is delicious. I haven't used this in so long. I could have used a little bit more de bronzy actually, but it's okay. I'm very aggressive with how I apply my moisturizers. I've noticed that when I film, so ignore. Just gotta like push it into the skin. Okay, those de bronzy drops. I didn't even use that many. Oh, <sighs> why am I like this? Why am I like this? I've already got makeup all over my t-shirt. Oh my God, I'm sick of myself. This is actually a little skims tee, but I got it in a size too big, but it's still cute. I always just put excess on my hands, you know, SPF bronzer, whatever. I have my SPF on, don't forget your SPF. Hold on, hold on, sorry. I bought an SPF. I bought the Super Goop glow screen. I was meant to show you this without the deep bronzy drops on. Let's just put this on top. I, I don't know why I have YouTube because I'm just so bad at it. Okay, let's just try, so I've heard a lot about these. I've heard a lot of breakout stories from this looks stunning smells okay spf sometimes smells weird spf 40. i am excited about this for summer super goop glow screen in golden air i'm excited for this for summer um but let's just you know this is a first impressions video okay literally looks like makeup stunning okay doesn't doesn't blend all that easily just give some effort maybe people do this with a brush I just, I'm getting makeup all over me already. This is a catastrophe. Anyway, into the hairline. Okay, I feel like that just made me very bronzed. Maybe it's the mix with the de-bronzy that I did beforehand. Okay, that made me very bronzed. That's stunning. I am very bronzed, but in summer that'll be gorge. Okay, that's nice. Not sure how Super Goop is meant to look under makeup. I'm not sure what people think about that. So we'll see. This is all first impressions. We're gonna see how it goes for the day. Okay, so this look is gonna be full glam, full coverage, even though it's daytime and everything, and like, I'm not actually heading out out. 
we just play pretend. Let's go wet. I picked up one of the beauty blenders. I just loved the colour of this. And the OG beauty blenders I do like, but they're quite expensive. So, you know, you just get get an affordable one. But I do like the OG and uh, I was in Sephora. I thought, why not? Okay, after wetting that, it actually doesn't get that big. I feel like other beauty blenders get a lot bigger. But anyway, let's keep going. I feel like there's a lot of fabulous beauty blenders out there. You don't need the beauty blender. I think I effed up. I, uh, I think I messed up. I got the Makeup by Mario Foundation, which I'm so excited about, and I have not touched this yet because I've been waiting for you. Well, I've been waiting for me. I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming me. I just couldn't use it without showing you girlies first, okay? I got 15N, and it matched NARS Barcelona, or Stromboli, in the store. But then I was talking to paint it by Kira, and she got 9N, and was like, babe, 15N is going to be pretty pretty flippin' dark. So, oh, fuck. that's what, like, if that's the color of me, if that's my bronze right now, it's too dark. So, unfortunately, what we are gonna do is just mix it with this, these serum drops that I got to lighten the foundation. Um, But it just, it's too dark. Like, if she has 9N and I got 15N, it's too dark, babe. It's too dark. It's giving what I used to wear to the teenage discos. Why is why is 15 year old me still in my brain back there with the dream map moose? It's, you know, to stop. Okay, so where's that where's that serum thing? Hold on, girlies. We're gonna under we're gonna underpaint. I'm gonna do bronzer and concealer first before so sorry to tease you like that. Makeup by Mario, we're coming back to you in a sec. I love underpainting the Mary MacPhillips way. Mary Phillips? Mary MacPhillips? I actually can't do my makeup the other way anymore. I actually have to do the underpainting. So let's do the Milk Bronzer Stick in Blaze. Is this a mini or it just is mini? I'm not sure, but it's adorable. And I appreciate the size. It's very cute. I have a feeling this must, is this a mini that I picked up? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's, oh, it's fucking tiny. Oh no. Is that tiny? Anyway, oh my god. Okay, okay. I like the colour. I like the colour. You know, I love the Rare Beauty Always Sunny contour stick. This one is, uh, yeah, compares very well. I'm liking it so far. I like the application. Blaze is probably, yeah, it's a good shade, I think. Let's see, we've got a jaw. We know we need it. And will I show you my makeup desk is a pretty good setup. I'll show you here. I'm quite proud of her. I made a little TikTok. Anyway, um, my makeup desk in our last place was just chaos. It was absolute chaos. And I just never gave it time and love and effort. So finally, uh, this is my little sanctuary. So this room is going to become my little sanctuary, which I was meant to do in the last place and just never did. So I just have to give this loads of love, flowers. It's beautiful and bright. I have my glam doll ring light up there. You know, it's, it's all coming together slowly but surely. This is blending out stunning. Really enjoying. Really liking. Girlies, I'm liking this now. Uh, yeah, I'm liking this big time. Am I liking it more than Rare Beauty? Like, this is all first impressions, remember, really? So, um, I don't want to say, I don't want to compare it too fast to things and, like, say I prefer it because Rare Beauty, always sunny, I love. But this is looking pretty stunning for me. I'm loving the colour. I'm loving the blend. The Refi brush, I absolutely love for bronzer and for the underpainting technique. The Refi brush, it really just blends it out beautifully. It doesn't steal your product. It buffs it really nicely into the skin. What am I rating that? What, um, Blaze Milk Makeup? I'm gonna give you, I wanna give you a 10 out of 10, but I haven't worn you all day. But as a first impressions, I'm giving you a 10 out of 10. I'm really impressed. Beauty Blender, you know what? I'm gonna give you, cause I've had so many since I ever tried the first Beauty Blender, I actually, you're not my favorite beauty blender in the world, but you're cute, it's fine. Okay, you're kind of going green. Next, okay, so when you're underpainting, you do your bronzer. Next is concealer. We got the Kosas concealer. You've probably seen this all over TikTok. I've seen this all over TikTok. I have seen that apparently people have seen there's grow mold inside. So that's kind of off-putting, but did it stop me? No. So let's just go. I got 05W. Again, I was just winging it, so let's just hope... I just, I'm such a messer for just totally guessing the concealer shades and foundation shades and everything shades. Yeah, okay, that, uh, I think the shade's okay. Yeah, let's keep going. It's kind of yellow for me, but I've done it a little bit brighter, maybe. 
I feel really weird when I don't do Charlotte Magic Cream under my makeup. But like I do like trying it without it, but like I just always seem to go back to it. My makeup just doesn't feel as dewy and as glowy without it. But anyway, let's just keep going. So that's the Kosas. So far, yeah, nice application. Colour, yeah, I actually am okay with you. I usually think, I think I go a little bit lighter with concealer, but it's okay. Okay, let's see under eye though. Concealer under eye is a big teller. You know, if it's not if it's not doing it for the under eyes, I pretty much won't bother with you because I feel concealer, the main thing you want out of a concealer is the under eyes to look good. And you know what? I like it. No creasing, it's not dry. Pretty glowy. Coverage level. I'm not getting a massive coverage right now. Is the Beauty Blender kind of stealing a lot of the product? I'm not, okay, yeah, but in a nice way, I guess, because you don't want your concealer to be like really thick. Let's just do a little bit more under eye. Because as I've discussed, my look, under eyes are looking tired. And I've been sleeping well, it's just, it's just my under eyes. And I'm hydrated, I'm drinking my water. It's just, um, I'm aging. Concealer, you have, I'm not, I'm not dying. I'm not dying. And with the concealer, you really have to wear it for the day and really see how you feel. Concealer, so far, first impression, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a six, five, six. Like I'm not wowed yet, but let's do foundation. So I have these L'Oreal True Match Nude Drops and I got, I think the fairest shade, very light is the shade. Um, and I'm gonna use these just to hopefully ever so slightly lighten up the foundation because let's, well, I already know, like it's, it's way too dark. Okay, I'm so upset at myself, but anyway, no regrets. So. Yeah, like that's just, that's the colour, that's near my bronzer, like that's just too dark. So let's swatch, that's one pump and then let's just do a little bit of these, just a little bit. And this is just going to, just that tiny bit, just to hopefully neutralise the shade of foundation. And then I don't know how many pumps it's recommended of Mario, we do one more and build her up. Uh, mm, one is actually a lot, let's put it to the neck. And let's blend and pray. Let's just, okay, mix out the lighter. Oh, it's okay, well that's already leaking everywhere. That's not great. Oh, okay, you know what? You know what? What though? Yeah, I think I'm liking it. I think I'm okay, I think I'm happy with that shade. Or should it be a little bit lighter? Because what I feel like I do is when I wear fake tan, I match to the tan and we want that, we love that. But I also feel like I match so much that the bronzer doesn't get its moment and I do go too dark. And then I'll, I'll lighten it up with concealer though. Let's just keep going and we can lighten up with concealer. As a foundation, this is stunning. Oh my goodness, Mario. I knew I'd love this though, to be honest. I really, I, sorry, all my gray hairs. I really didn't think I'd, I wasn't going to doubt Mario. Like, we've all seen his work with Kim. He didn't rush this. He didn't bring this out the second he got big. He took his time to come out with this. And that's what I appreciate. I love that. Thank you, sir, for taking your time to serve us with this magic. Girlies, I'm loving this. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of a lighter concealer again just so we're not too dark. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Sepia, Sepia, Vanish. This I think is just one of my lighter ones. So let's just, just to lighten up the skin a tiny bit in the center. And then for me, that sometimes just overall lightens up the face. You only need such a small amount of the Hourglass. Okay, yeah, do you see? Is this kind of lightening up and neutralizing? So we can still see the bronzer. We're not all one color. That's kind of what I want to work on um, as a Mua. I'm not a Mua. Haven't been a Mua in years. Haven't done people, I haven't done anyone's makeup in years. Um, but as my own personal Mua, I do really want to work on my bronzing and concealer game. And like, I'm not just all one color. I feel like I'm always just one color. Whereas when I look at someone's face and I'm like, I can see a bronzer, I can see a blush, I can see the concealer, but it's all beautifully blended together. That foundation, I know people were very nervous about it because, where's the lid? Because, it's not the lid. 
yeah and um, that's gonna get filthy i know people have said that it's glitter yeah i would agree like are you gonna be able to see this there is like glitter you can literally see it actually looks like a hollywood flawless filter like there pretty much is glitter in there but it doesn't come out like it doesn't look like that on your skin it's like hollywood flawless filter i'm obsessed i'm very impressed girlies i i'm so impressed i'm so impressed let's do brows because i'm looking like a bald eagle let's fill in my brows with benefit precisely my brows i love this pencil i think this is my favorite brow pencil also love the refi ones but I just always grab this one. I need to get my brows done with my Angel Laura Ward. But for now, we'll just fill. Just lightly. I don't like my brows being too much. And Refi Brow Gel. I I just don't know if I'll ever, ever not come back to you. Anytime I try something else, I just always come back to Refi. I just love her so much. So sometimes I'll do this and then I'll go back in with the pencil if I notice any empties or shaping that needs help. Okay, girlies. Let's come back to face. She's a doll. Patrick Ta for face. It's major headlines, double take, cream and powder blush. You, I don't need to tell you this. Obviously, the Patrick Ta and Alex Earl collab. Going to Alex Earl's bedroom to do her makeup. Iconic. And I saw Patrick Ta talking about his cream his cream and powder duos. And you put the powder on first and then the cream. Yeah, and then the cream. I had to check myself there. Yeah, which is just crazy to me. But let's go. I'm going to use an hourglass brush. Okay. So this is the colour She's a Doll. Which is just, it's very me. Okay, this is stunning as a powder. So, yeah, with this you do the powder. And then you're going to build the cream on top. And it will give it that, like, sheer look. Which is just crazy because everyone says, like, cream on top of powder looks all cakey, blah, blah, blah. But uh, in Patrick Ta, we trust. Is this is this showing? Because this color, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This brush is actually beautiful as well. This is an hourglass like double brush, and this is gorgeous. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. This is stunning. Okay, this powder is. I'm obsessed. So that on its own is absolutely stunning. But now I am very excited to try. Now I'm very excited to see the cream over this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender, and let's go into the cream. Okay, I don't want to pick up too much or too little. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it's it's very pink, but that's like literally my kind of blush. On TikTok though, people did say they liked peach on me, but I just go for a much more pink. Okay, this is stunning and I to oh my god, I totally see what's happening here. Um it's getting like really glossy and glowy now with the cream on top. Without it, like it's not looking cakey at all. It's making my skin look really glo like skin. It just oh my god, wow. Oh, Patrick Ta, we love you. Girly Worries, this is getting a 12 out of 10. A big fat 12 out of 10. We'll see how it wears, but first impression, 12 out of 10. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. Are you seeing? Can you see how beautiful that is? Oh, okay. I'm absolutely obsessed. Obsessed. Patrick Ta, you slayed. I never doubted you, babe. Actually, sorry, this is a bit more daytime because I'm doing very simple eyes, but don't I always? So let's do Benefit Hula Bronzer in the eyes. This is my new favorite day eye. Like, honestly, even when I go out, like it's just a bronzer in the lid. It's just kind of what I do now. It's just, I don't know, with eyeshadow, I'm just not sure if it suits my face. Girls, look, no, my skin looks like skin, but like so bouncy. It looks so dewy. It looks edible i want to eat it I, oh my god girls okay and that's the blush and the foundation doing that for me and the concealer though god wow girlies and i haven't really liked my makeup in a while because you know when you're just not liking your skin and like thing you know you're just not vibing i'm vibing with this entirely okay so i hula bronzer toasted is also stunning um but that's a bit darker so let's just Let's just keep it light. Keep it nice and light. If I was going somewhere, I'd be doing the Fenty Diamond Balm. I'm going to show you that. And I'll show you the TikTok I made of that because you girlies really popped off for the Diamond Balm. So I'll show you now. So if I was going out, I'd probably just put that over this. And that's honestly all I do. And I'll do a bit of liner. But I don't know if I want liner today. I'm kind of enjoying simple eyes on me. I just think it suits my face better. But maybe that's so wrong. Um. So anyway, just... In the crease, I'll do a bit underneath. Smoke it up a tiny bit. Feel like this bronzer just on your eyes, it makes blue eyes look so blue. 
it's a really nice and then i feel like this bronzer makes your blue eyes look blue did i just give myself severe under eye there it makes blue eyes look blue and it makes the cheek the blush look really pink i don't know i just feel like this compliments i don't think that's showing on camera because i think i look a little bit crazy right now but it does look cute i prom in person she's cute let's do roller lash girlies haven't done this in a long time because you know me i'm a leaky eye queen and i'm always 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 boring and using mac extended play mascara love you mac extended play mascara but i'm just in the mood to spice things up does this have to no okay yeah let's do roller lash i have a lash lift in i've got a lash lift done so i'm not going to curl my lashes now it's kind of on its way out anyway and i need to go back to sarah sarah kinlock if you're a dublin girlie she's a lash lift queen i need to go back to her but for now i'm not going to curl my lashes just in case because I, I i just haven't been just because i don't want to mess with the lash lift on my lashes so anyway they're, they're still pretty they're still curled like they're still lifted and fabulous so let's just do our wee little roller lash brown mascara would probably be gorgeous today but nah let's let's do this let's go all black so for me with mascara the only problem is the fall down i'm panda eye leaky eye queen so it's so bad i'll i'll do my makeup go out and forget that i'm a leaky eye queen and i'll start talking to people and then i look in the mirror and i look like a panda and i don't know if those people actually think i think that my makeup is supposed to look like that or i don't know it's it's it's, it's i'm embarrassed like it's it's embarrassing for me um so if you ever see me and i have panda eyes just tell a girl just be like babe i know your makeup's not supposed to look like that like you're you look like you're crying um thank you for telling me I'd, I'd much rather be told because it happens all the time and i said black everywhere okay this is cute i feel like this is giving length rather than volume but that's okay yeah okay this is stunning god you know when you just forget when you just forget to try other things i just got stuck in the same makeup regime for so long it just got boring you know the true test for me for mascara it can be the best mascara in the world but if it doesn't last well for me for the day i just can't use it can't be panda queen i did buy the charlotte Tilbury pillow talk matte beauty blush wand in dream pop but then i actually got sent all the wands and i did a little tiktok on these and they're gorgeous but um patrick ta is winning for me today so that's why i did that one instead and patrick ta is more of a sephora buy for me like charlotte Tilbury, we can kind of get in a lot of places but Patrick Ta is a special little one for me okay I want to try is it Kai C-A-I-A -A, not Sephora I'm sorry but I'm just switching it up for this because I just really want to try this it is a Swedish cosmetic brand and it looks absolutely stunning and let's just go this is Louisa Louisa lip liner and yeah I just been dying to try these and they sent me a gorgeous parcel that's my kind of color I think I need to shave my face again. I did it a long, 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 long time ago. You know what I'm talking about. I might do it again. Anyway, I just haven't done it in so long so I didn't want to set off my perioral dermatitis. And I think I have finally cracked the code of my perioral dermatitis, which we will talk about in my updated skin regime, which is coming, I swear to God. Sorry, sometimes I talk out of like one side of my mouth and I wonder is it because of the lip flip, but I haven't got the lip flip done in, I think like a year. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't had my lip filler done in months either. And they're actually... See, I think I lost a little bit of weight in my face coming off the pill. And I feel like my lips don't, yeah, they, like, I, I, I don't need any more. Like, I'm, I want, I'm going into my gal to, to chat to her about, like, anti-wrinkle injection stuff. But, um, by now I'd usually be getting more on my lips, but they are, at, it almost feels like they got a bit bigger. And I think it's, be, yeah, I think it's, I think I lost weight on my face. So I don't know. So we we don't need any lips done anyway. Um, and I I I don't know when I'll if when or if I'll get another lip flip. I think I just like the half mil anyway. Tangent. I actually didn't get any lip products in Sephora. Shock horror. What what gloss will you do? I love. Okay, sorry. That's a beautiful lip liner by Kai. Is it Kai? I hope I'm saying that right. It's absolutely stunning. Um, what lip do I want to do? Is a Sephora kind of lip? Hmm. Is Dior, yeah, Dior's in Sephora. I just kind of, hourglass, let's do hourglass. Oh, girls, the Fenty Hot Chocolate Lit is stunning, but let's do Phantom, uh, let's do Phantom Lit by Hourglass Mist today. Girlies, if you, wait, no, why is that slip? I wanted Mist. Where's Mist? Ah. Be very careful with, oh, be care very careful with your hourglass. Don't twist it up because it doesn't twist back down. Other oh, gorgeous one is Sweet Mouth by Fenty, but let's do Mist, which is the paler pink. I love this so much. Oh, this color is just so me. That kind of nudie baby pink. I just love these colors. Delicious. Niall also got it while we were in New York and 
he loved. Givenchy, uh, the Prism, Prism Libra. I was, or Lib, Lib, Prism, mm. I was um, showing, in Sephora, I was showing Al and Amy my little haul, and then the sales assistant just overheard me, I was like, oh, you need the Givenchy powder too, and I was like, perfect. And if she kept going, I would have bought every single thing she recommended. So I got very excited because I knew I'd want it and I forgot about it. Let's get this sticker off. So it's these four little prisms. And I think I got two fair or three. I got shade three, she recommended, which is rose. And they all have like different shades. It's kind of like uh, makeup theory, you know, the way like all the color theories. So let's just get some out. And then you just kind of mix them all together. Oh, see, it kind of mixes in there. So it's all pink and cream oh it's very cute okay we do the little puff let's do the little puff oh i'm excited okay stunning oh it smells beautiful oh yeah i'm loving this the skin looks stunning don't love this i actually should have used my pointy puffer but doesn't matter it's okay girlies i'm really obsessed with every single thing i am obsessed I'm so happy with everything. Let's do Rare Beauty. I always use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but let's do Rare Beauty today. I've been, I, this isn't a first impression, I've used it a few times, and it's stunning. Should probably start using it to prep the skin too. I think it's a bit of both, but that is a beautiful setting spray. Girlies, I am obsessed. Okay, let's rank, let's take it back. The foundation, honestly, most things are gonna be 10 out of 10. The Kosas Concealer, probably the most unimpressive, but as I'm wearing it, I do love it, but it just didn't, it didn't wow me, whereas like the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer wows me, because I always think it makes my skin look bouncy. Loved the Milk Bronzing Stick, Makeup by Mario Foundation, wow. Is the Patrick, uh, the Givenchy Powder, absolutely stunning, but I think the winner, I think the winner has to be Patrick Ta. Oh my god, it's filthy! Why am I doing why am I covering my t-shirt makeup as if I'm not wearing this for the day? I have to change t-shirt. The the Patrick Ta. There's me. The Patrick Ta, she's a doll. I wish I got more colours because I'm obsessed. Honestly, I am really happy with that haul. Nothing has disappointed me. Nothing has let me down. And I, all that money spent was worth it. It was all so worth it. And I am so happy about it. My grey hairs have been thriving this whole video. Girlies, I'm obsessed. And we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I love and adore you. You'll see, we'll do a house vlog soon. And um, all that's coming, I promise. And skincare is coming, I promise. I feel like I said every time. I'm so bold for making promises. But I do keep them, I swear, it just might take me time, <laughs> okay? Okay, girlies, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. And I love and adore you, and I'll see you next week. Mwah! I love you. Bye.